Okay, this is just a very quick video on the blue ball. Uh, this particular blue ball I've had for about two or three years. Um, I started using this for beet sand, for many a lot of black sand and iron oxide mixed in. It is particularly good for uh, for getting black sand out um, of the gold. It's just that the volume I was getting, it just it's is more designed for for really really concentrated materials. So I kind of moved on to a different method, which involved the manjo pan. Um, so just a very quick, brief uh, overview of how it works, uh, more so for the uh, person buying it so they know how to use it. So this is the gate valve, um, this is a little valve you can adjust, uh, very very small adjustments to give you uh, more flow. Uh, what happens is this connects to a hose, I'll show you that in just a second. That then comes through here and the water comes out the side. And it comes out at a strategic point and goes around and around and the idea is that the uh, the gold will get if it does get to here will fall back down and any lighter material falls over it and goes over the top now there is special leveling pegs that comes with this you have to use to get it 100 percent level that is the most critical thing a blue ball always has to be completely level. okay so the blue ball is powered by a 750 gallon per hour pump you can just see that there um that runs on two alligator clips uh which clip onto a battery uh, now I'm, the one I use here is a 12 volt car battery, it's 43 amps, pretty much any battery that's 12 volt, anything over 7 amps, it will work fine. Uh, you can actually get a uh, separate adapter running off the mains, but again it has to be DC power. Um, so the way I have this set up is on top of a bucket, you'll notice that the pump isn't inside, and the reason for that is what happens is the tailings come out, drop through, through the cone, and then straight down into the bucket. So the last thing you want is your pump in the same place where the tailings are. So what I would recommend for this particular setup is the bucket inside, something like that, like the box, but you need it a lot larger. Something that the bucket that you have it sitting on can sit into, and you just have the water will eventually overflow and then back down to the pump. So that is probably the, uh, the best way of running the um, pump. Okay, so just for the demonstration, I have the pump set up on the inside because I'm not running any material. And you can see here where the actual setup is using the level peg. See where the water is going over one side but not the other? as absolutely perfectly level as possible and also you want the flow a little bit lower so there's a little bit of material in there just some dirt that was in the bucket i can see where because the flow rate is incorrect it's not actually moving you can see it you can, can see some little bits moving so how this works then as he is the pump that then runs down to a battery and again that's a, a 43 amp 12 volt battery you pick that up second hand and again when you're running it off battery it has to be i generally find anything over seven amps it has to be at least seven amps so as you that's it, it's very simple. The only thing that this is missing now is the special leveling pegs. They're in the box um, uh, of the package of salt. As I say, by the time anyone sees this video, I'll have already sold this uh, this blue ball. So uh, as I say, just kind of a demonstration on how it works. 